Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry and this is part two of my um, golf themed polymer clay mixed medium mosaic. And we're going to do some stamping. I am going to start with the silhouette stamps. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do black or gold, but I think I'm going to try gold first and see how it comes out. So um, we'll start with the set of two in case it doesn't come out. Um, so I'm just gonna ink up my stamp. Make sure I have good coverage. Mm. Okay, and let's give this a go and see how it comes out. You want to watch out for air bubbles in the clay. Um, so I'm going to go over here where there aren't any, or not as many. And we're going to put it down. Give pressure. And let's see how it looks. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So we're going to go with that. Grabbing a baby wipe. Clean off the stamp. And I'm going to go ahead and put them back on the... Nope, wrong one. On the sheet so I don't lose them. Does anybody else have that problem? Losing clear stamps, I lose them all the time. And then come up with them later. Alright, so that's, that's done. So we're going to set that over here to be put away. And we're going to do this set of three. So, same thing, inking up the stamp. And giving good pressure, especially on that one in the middle. A lot of times, if I'm doing more than one on a block, it seems like the one in the middle just doesn't quite seem to get as much pressure down. Okay, let's see how this came out. Oh, Lord, I hear one of my quirky cats. Fair warning, I don't know if that's picking up on the camera. <laughs> it's almost time to feed them. I probably should have done that before I started. Although they have dry food out all the time, but of course, they want the canned food. They want the good stuff, so it would not surprise me. If one of them came up and objected a little more within range of the camera. Okay, so there are those five, and we're going to cut them out. Someday when you guys see the tour of my craft room, You'll wonder why I don't ever seem to have any space to work with as much workspace as I have. Um, I'm just, there's a little bit of clay residue on the blade of a different color clay, so I'm cleaning that off real quick. But I have stuff everywhere. But I also have everything pulled out so that I hopefully don't have to go, oh, I need to get this out. So, all right, so we're going to release from the cutting board and first we're just gonna kind of do a quick separation and then we'll trim them down getting them out of the way and we'll start with this guy who is actually very very similar to that guy look at that pretty close to almost the same thing but that's okay Alright, so, 
start at the bottom because we want the feet flat on the ground, so to speak. Up. Sorry if my head's getting in the shot. Need to make sure it's straight. All right. Wow. Crooked. Crooked. Yeah, I was supposed to be working tonight, and those of you that have watched previous videos of mine know that I'm a truck driver. And... Oops. In the trucking world, the saying is that the only thing you can plan on in trucking is things not going as planned. So, um, the load that I was supposed to deliver tonight was not ready, so I got canceled. Which, the good news is, that means you guys get a video or two. The bad news is I don't get paid for the day. But we'll look at the positive side and say I have crafty time. So see, I'm just putting them on my tile for baking to put them into the toaster oven. So all right, let's do the next one. So anyway, and then I contacted the other truck driver that I work with that he also feeds the stray cats on the yard. To let him know that I was not working tonight so that he can put out extra and get them fed. And midnight, the cranky old black cat that's been around for I think about seven years. This morning when I got back, or yes, yeah, this morning, yesterday morning, whatever. Um sometimes he wants to just sit in my lap. I mean, he used to belong to someone. He's already neutered. He's, you know, friendly and it breaks my heart and I'd love to bring him home, but I already have two cranky cats. I don't need a third one. This winter though, I don't know. He might be coming in, spending a little time in my basement if it gets too awful bad. That's a little crooked. So let's actually pull it down to where I actually have a line. So, yeah, and it had rained all day yesterday, so so I was arguing with him. I was like, I don't want to sit on the ground. The ground's all wet. And he's just looking at me and headbutting my shin bone. And finally, I was like, all right, you win. Anybody else been well-trained by animals? Because I have. They trained me well, so... But yeah, it was uh, 85 degrees this weekend, and now it's like in the 50s and cold and rainy. And I'm pretty sure they say this everywhere, but we definitely say it here in Kansas City. If you don't like the weather, give it a minute. It'll change. So, crooked again. I'm having a crooked night tonight, you guys. Um, I was... On lack of sleep yesterday because I just bought a new car. But the title for the car is an out-of-state title. So I had to go get something called a VIN inspection done. And so I had gone to bed early Sunday night and then set my alarm. By early, I mean like 2 a.m. as opposed to 6 in the morning. Went to bed about 2. Set my alarm, got up at 7.30 and... Went down there thinking it wasn't going to take very long, and I was there for four and a half hours. So Monday night was a long night in the truck. I was a little, a little tired. I had to pull over twice and get out and walk around a little bit, get the blood flowing. So, yeah, because I was going to go to the DMV yesterday to get the registration done and all that, but by the time I got done with the VIN inspection, it was like almost noon and I needed to get a little more sleep before I had to go drive. I drive to um, 
St. Louis and back every night. So, um, in the truck, it's about mm, four and a half hours each way. I have a mandatory 30 minute break I have to take in St. Louis. And then with your hooking up and dropping trailers and logging in and fueling and all that, it, it's like I said before, it's generally a, on a good day, it's about 12 hours. On days where things go wrong, it's more like 13 or 14, so. Um, which is why during the week, I don't generally even come in the craft room. Because on the rare occasions when I have, then craft room time is taken over. You guys know about that, right? Where you think, I'm just going to do this real quick. It'll just be like 15 or 20 minutes. And then you look at the clock. And you're like, oh crap, it's been two hours. That's not good. Anybody else done that? I have. I have. Sometimes the cats come and look at me like, why are we still up? Why are we not in the bed? So, and I wish I would have known sooner that I wasn't going to be working tonight because I would have went to the DMV today. And got that taken care of because I woke up at about noon for a bathroom break and uh, saw that it was tentative that I wasn't going to be working tonight. But wasn't sure and they weren't sure and so I was like, well, then I'm going back to bed. Because sleep is the, the biggest priority. Making sure that I am well rested. So that. My head is in the game, so to speak, when I'm driving the truck. So, kind of important when you got 80,000 pounds behind you to make sure your head is in the game. So, anyway, it's all right. So, there's those. Let me put this other one on here and give you guys a look. And I don't know yet what I'm going to use on this project. Um, when I don't know for sure, I do everything. And, um, and then decide as I'm laying it out. I don't even know what I'm going to be using for the substrate yet. Probably just one of the hanging chalkboards. But I don't know for sure yet. We'll see. Oops. All right, so we're going to do we're going to do the funny ones on the white clay. And I'm going to do the guy, this guy along with these two. So, and we're going to do those in black ink. What do I do with my black ink pad? Where did it go? Which way did it go, George? Which way did it go? There it is. Okay. So, we'll do the wood-mounted one first. And I think I'm going to bake these and then color them with my alcohol ink markers after I bake them. Um, there are different um, methods for coloring. There's mica powders. Um, there's acrylic paint, and then there's the alcohol ink markers, so, but on these ones, because it's kind of cartoony, cartoony, is that a word? I'm making it a word, and, um, so I think I'll color them with alcohol ink. I almost did a double impression on that one. That would have not been good. All right, good pressure. Oh, it's sticking. Come on. Oh my gosh, you guys. Dang it. See, it didn't stamp very well there. That's going to be a no-go because there's no way I'm going to be able to line that back up. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo that. And the back is no good. So, um, let's get all the clay that is 
has not been stamped on. See, you guys even learn from my mistakes, right? That's what I'm here for. Because goodness knows I make plenty of mistakes, so. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm trying to just kind of scrape off the... Yeah, no. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so. Now, I don't throw this away because when I am doing, like, geometric patterns, um, where I know I'm going to be doing paint, then um, I need to make sure I can see the black ink on this, though, so I know that it's the messed up one. Um, since I'm going to be painting over it anyway, it doesn't matter. So, mess ups go in a bag of their own for that particular color. So, all right, let's try this again. Sorry, that was really loud. Okay. I don't know if I didn't have ink on that part. Or if I just didn't push, I mean, I felt like I pushed down earlier. The impression was there. So I just didn't have ink. Told you to make sure you have ink on all of it. And part of the problem with the wood stamps is sometimes they get warped. Um, the wood does. So then when you're trying to get good ink coverage, it's, yeah, it's not even, watch this. It's not even inking this little part right there, the part that didn't stamp. So this is just a little miniature. Um, is this not one I have open? No. I have one that's open. Just a little miniature black, black ink. And it's... That way I can get in there and get ink on those. So I told you to make sure you had all the lines covered. Didn't I tell you guys that? You never listen. Ha oh, no, I'm just kidding. All right, let's try this again. And... Ugh. Okay. And let's see how this one came out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ugh. Not the best, but I should have cleaned the stamp before I re-inked it. But it should be all right. I think we're going to keep that one. Just going to be coloring it with the alcohol inks anyway. So, All right, so cleaning up the wood stamp. Good enough. May not end up being one I even use. Never know. Part of uh, part of the fun of this is, you know, sometimes it's okay to fail. So, all right. Teaches you to accept failure. Ha ha. All right, and we're going to turn it sideways so I can get the sides cut properly. Just lining it up with my grid line. And um, and I'm sorry about my sniffles, you guys. I don't know. I think the weather change has really messed with my... Um, sinuses so all right and I think we better do the top because the blade's not long enough so I'm also going to do some um 
We're going to try it. I've never tried it. Well, I did try it once before. I think it worked. So we're going to do it again. Um, some of the other stamps I'm going to do on the blue, the light blue clay. Because then the light blue stays as the sky. And then I can color in the rest with the mica powder. So we're going to do some of that here in just a minute. There's that guy. I don't know how he's going to come out, but we shall see. All right, now we're going to do these two funny people. Oops. So, you guys, it was so funny tonight. I was going through, um, I have drawers off to my side where I keep my open packages of clay and I had like eight open packages of the this is the Sculpey White Pearl and I had like eight open packages of it and I was like I need to start checking my drawers more often before opening a new package so just um, rolling it so it'll go fit through the pasta machine trying to get some of the air bubbles out I have um, two pasta machines. I have an electric one, which I'm not going to use while filming because it is noisy. My cats hate it. They think I bought it just to torture them. So I also have the ones you can just buy at like Michael's or whatever that you just turn the crank on and fold it and run it through again. Oops, picked up one of my metal pieces. Ah. All right, so now we're going to do the two funnies off of this clear set. The guy in the golf cart and the lady. And I'm probably going to take that little golf ball with the tee and put it with the lady. So let's give that a go. All right. And so we'll do her first stamp block. Oh my gosh, come on. Oops. Oh, I'm a hot mess tonight, you guys. Hot mess tonight, that is me. crooked. There we go. All right, let's give this a go. Hopefully she'll link up better than the other guy did. Looks like I've got good coverage. So let's put her down right here. So anyway, so yeah, since I ended up not working, got up, made me some uh, chicken and white rice and cream and mushroom soup. And I took Benadryl because of my sinuses. And, uh-oh. Okay, we're okay. Mm, no, messed it up a little bit. That's all right. That's fixable. Too much pressure on the bottom. Pulled up the clay a little bit, but... I just tapped it back down. Look, the clay stuck to the stamp. That's what it is. I'm going to clean up the other stamp before I ink it up to make sure that doesn't happen with the guy in the golf cart. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's sticky on this side for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, so I took Benadryl because of my sinuses and came in here with the intention of doing some stuff and Honestly, uh, 
brain was as bad as I am right now, it was worse. So I was like, yeah, I, I need a nap. So I went and took a nap and then came in here to do this. So it's about 3.30 in the morning right now. And um, I'll get these into the oven and then go down and eat a little something else and then head to bed so I can work tonight, hopefully. Yeah, there's some kind of sticky residue on the on this side. Um, clean baby wipe. Baby wipes. Craft room best friend. I buy them by the case because I go through a lot of them. Okay, that's better. All right, and then blot it dry because yeah, it's sticky. This is I don't know. That's very odd. Very odd. I don't know why it would be sticky on that side. Still sticky. Sticky there. Oh, golly. Sticky there. Maybe that's a good thing when you're stamping on paper, but when you're stamping on clay, not a good thing. All right. See, I'm thinking I want to add the, uh, I can drive 300 yards in my golf cart saying to this. And then I'm probably going to do, um, either Let's Party or Want to Play Around. Probably Let's Party. I'll stamp it right there. Let's do that first. See, you're seeing the way my brain works. Is it scaring you? It should. Uh -huh. All right. I'm actually going to use colored ink for the words. Um, I got a, a navy blue, cobalt blue archival ink. So I'm going to do the words in that instead of in black. Okay, inking it up. So, you guys are getting an idea of how my brain works when I'm in process. Progress here. Process. Progress. I don't know. So, we're going to do that right there. Good pressure. Come up. Come, Uh-oh. Come on. Yep. That works. Not perfectly perfect, but good enough. I'm a good enough person. Yeah, whatever that sticky residue is on these stamps, it's making the ink, like, not even come off. That's crazy. All right. So, put that back. And, so I might need a bigger stamp block, unless it fits this way. Mm, yeah, it does. Barely, but it does. Let's scoot it up a little bit. Did I unstickify this already? I don't think I did. Maybe I did, but stickify. You guys like my, I have my own language. So see, not only are you learning crafty stuff, you're learning another language. You'll be a bilingual. You'll be able to speak Sherry fluently. Here comes one of my gripey boys. What do you want? I know. Tell me all about it. No, I don't want to do the words because the word's going to be in blue. What do you want? I mean, I know what you want. But you're going to have to wait. All right. Let's give the golf cart guy a go here. What? Does anybody else have cats that constantly ask what they want? Bless you, by the way. Yes, I talk to my cats. I mean, what do you want me to do? Not answer them? That would be rude. Hmm. 
All right, golf cart guy. Let's see how it came out. Fingers crossed, you guys. Fingers crossed. Good enough. Because I'm going to color it after I bake it. And I can always go in with the really thin black Sharpie if I need to and fill in some lines that maybe didn't stamp as well. All right. Cleaning the ink off. I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me. Is this like boring for you? Or do you like listening to me ramble and hearing my thought process and that kind of thing. You'll have to let me know. All right, and then the words. Word, word to your mother, right? I think I'm gonna go back on that other one. Hopefully I'll be able to fit words because I already cut them out. Um. I can already tell the words won't fit. I might have to do it separate. Rats. I might restamp him a third time. Now that I've decided to do this this way. See how it goes when you change your mind mid-process. So, all right. I'll pull him back over here in a minute. We'll see if, uh, if I can fit who's your caddy. But I'm already, I can already tell I can't. That one was kind of messed up anyway, so. May not necessarily be a bad thing to just do a new one, so. All right. And above it, right? I'm lining it up with the bottom of the tires because that's what's going to be straight. Giving it pressure. Yep, that's good. You guys liking this? I'm kind of liking this. I had no idea where I was, what colors I was going to stamp on, or what colors, what stamps I was going to do on what colors of clay. And so I have like the clay laid out and then the stamps divided by whatever clay color. Yeah, I think I'm going to restamp that guy because, because, yeah, I want to do, I want to do who's your, who's your caddy. And I don't think it'll fit. Hmm. It might fit right above his head. But it will distort. It'll distort the clay when I press down on the stamp. We're going to try it. We'll try it. If it works, great. If not, we'll restamp it. Right? All right. So, well, let's get these guys cut out first. So, go ahead and cut it here. Release from the tile. Because remember, you don't want to pull it up because you can distort the image. So I'm just smoothing out a little spot there that it's kind of messed up a little bit. Okay. Um, let's do the top first because I want to line it up. Sorry if my head's in the shot. And then we're going to turn it. Lining it up. Uh oh. Yikes. Yikes. That was almost bad. That was almost really bad. Told you guys I'm running out of room. I was sliding my cutting board and I was squishing the lady. Sure, she wasn't very appreciative of that. 
Okay. So, yes, I'm making this, like I said, I was inspired by the sticker set, and it was, I was, wait till you guys see how I organize my stickers. <laughs> the, one of the pieces of furniture I have has got like two hanging file folder drawers, and so I have hanging file folders in there, and the stickers are all sorted by theme, so... Um, but no, as I was, as I said, I pull things to use on a project and whatever I don't use, I'm really bad about not putting it right back away immediately. And so I have like a, a bowl on my desk that I dump all the things into. How does he look? Looks pretty good, doesn't he? And, um... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and scrap that guy, so we'll put him on the tile. Um, so I was sorting through that the other day and putting things away. I'm not sure if I finished that sentence. Um, things that I didn't end up not using on a project, I just dump in the bowl. And then every once in a while, I will... We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Um, just put the TV on in here and sit here and sort everything out and put them back into... Um, yeah, this is, these are my, like, storage containers for my embellishments, so, and, um, I feel like this is the one for Sky. Anyway, um, and I have a whole little bookshelf over here full of these containers. I know I got, I keep teasing you guys with, uh, craft room tour video, but I think everybody wants their craft room tour video to be, the room to be completely clean and everything put away. I don't know if that's actually ever going to happen, but I want it to be pretty close. Um, and then I'll take you around the room and show you what's what. So we're going to try and do this. We're not going to press down too hard because I don't have a lot of room for straightening up if it distorts. But we're going to give this a try. And they're pretty thick letters, so... I'm hoping I won't need a whole lot of pressure to get the stamp. I'm just going to kind of rock it a little bit. Nope. Hmm. Nah, we're going to call that good. I think we're going to call that good. I was thinking about like re-inking and trying to line it back up, but I never have good luck with that, you guys. It just never works, and I think that's okay. Um, Sculpey 3 Clay is very sticky compared to the Primo and the Souffle. The regular Sculpey is just ridiculously sticky. So sometimes your stamps will stick to it and pull it up a little bit, but... I don't even think I need to trim. We're just going to kind of tap it to fix where it kind of distorted a little bit. I think that's all right, you guys. What do you think? I think it's good. All right. Now let's cut out the party lady that I almost ruined. Um, wow. Train of thought totally derailed. I don't know what I'm saying now, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, but Sculpey 3. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, when you get clay, you need to make sure that it's Sculpey 3. See, so it's Sculpey and then the little three three Roman numeral. Wow. Roman numerals. Um, so Sculpey 3. Um, original Sculpey is made more for like sculpting or like covering forms. And um, I actually bought some of that in the beginning, not realizing that it's really no good for making tiles. So now it's, um, 
something that I will probably let my nephews play with when I have them over. Um, so yeah, so just FYI, Sculp original Sculpey is not conducive for making tiles. So that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Yes, my train of thought derails quite often, you guys, so. Mostly because sometimes my brain goes faster than my mouth. Sometimes my mouth goes faster than my brain. And you know that brain-to-mouth filter that people have that says, no, don't say that? Yeah, I don't have one of those. Or if I do it, malfunctions on a regular basis. All right. So, um, so all of you um, subscribers that Sarah sent over to me, thank you so much for coming to check me out and I hope you're enjoying the videos. I'm very, very new to this. I'm not anywhere near the caliber of Sarah, but I hope y'all will bear with me and stick with me. And um, Also, you guys, I do have a... Wow. I do have a um, Facebook page um, under Quirky Cat Crafts, and you guys are welcome to come over there and um, send me a friend request and... Um, you know, ask any questions that you might have. Um, I'll answer what I can. And um, I also hope you guys will share things that you're creating on there as well. I kind of want that page. I just created it, so there's not a lot of activity on it yet. But I kind of want it to just be a, a polymer clay mixed media mosaic community. That's what I would really like for that page to come, become. So, you know, share your stuff. I mean, don't be... You know, don't be like spamming people or anything on it. But, you know, I want it to be a, a friendly community of, you know, people offering opinions and suggestions and tips and tricks and whatever. So that's what I'm hoping for. All right. So that's that group. Pull them back over here real quick so you guys can see them. And then these will just go into the oven. And, um, and get baked. And, let's see. I can fit three of these tiles in my toaster oven at a time. So, um, I have these two stamps set aside. I was thinking about doing this one on the green because it's just a silhouette. Yeah, I think I am going to do that on the green. And I think I might do that on white and just the blue ink because the words are all in blue. So. Um, but I want to do this on the green with the gold ink. So, and again, you guys get to see my brain work. Does it scare you? It should. It scares me. Can I fit on that? Yes. Okay. Little scrap. Okay. Um, so, I hope you guys will come on over to um, my Facebook page and send me a friend request on there as well. And, um... And then I also have an email, which is just quirkycatcrafts at yahoo.com. So, um, so if anybody wants to get in touch with me about anything, those are the ways to track me down. All right, let's see how this comes out. Nope, it needs to be this side. All right, here we go. That's good. 
I really hope I'm not boring you guys. This is just... Um, I'm getting ready to do the stamping on... Probably going to make that a separate video, actually, because coloring with the mica powders is time-consuming. So, okay. I want the flag pole to be straight, so I'm going to cut the sides first and line up my blade with the flag pole as best as I can. It's not going to be completely straight because that's what happens when you use a scrap of clay. You may not have enough. But we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Okay. So, but I hope you guys stick with me to the bitter end. But if not, I understand. But for those that enjoy watching the step-by-step -step process, I guess I'm for you. So, and um, the gnome holiday mosaics that I mentioned in a previous video will be coming soon. Um, just possibly not as soon as I had originally anticipated. Um, I did have a coworker contact me and she said she needs three mosaics for Christmas and a new baby, which I'm actually excited about because I've never actually made, I don't know if she's going to want a baby themed mosaic, but I've never actually made one with a baby theme and I have tons of baby stuff buttons and stamps and stickers and whatnot so all right so there's that little um what's it called the pin right i don't know i don't play golf so and then i wanted to do the word four with the blue ink oops on white clay and then i'm probably gonna call it good on this video and the next one will be when i stamp and color with mica powders so but as it's four o'clock in the morning, probably not going to be tonight. So you guys will have to come back and check back in probably Saturday. Unless I end up not working again a day this week. But we're going to hope that doesn't happen because it I don't get paid if I'm not working. Um, well, I mean, there's like a, a small cancellation pay fee that isn't anywhere near what I make when I'm actually driving. So can't have too many of these days and it makes me nervous that we're having a, a freight shortage right now because this is usually the busy time of year coming into the holidays and then also of course there's days where you can't run because of ice or snow and so I don't like missing days I, I just don't so all right four perfect Clean up the stamp, putting it away. Yeah, plus my stomach just growled. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but I think it's time to go eat. So we're going to turn this out. So, but I know that for me, I like to see the whole process. So, and the thought process behind it and why. Choices are made and decisions are made. So. That's why I do these this way. So. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Alright. The word four. Put that on the tile. Um. And even though I have more room, I usually like to try and fill up the tiles, but I'm tired, so I think I'm done. So I'm going to get these in the oven and get them baking. And then when I come back, let me show you what I'm going to do when I come back. So there's those. And get them in my toaster oven. 
which I won't turn on yet because it's a little noisy. Um, gonna cough. Sorry, you guys. <coughs> Dang it. All right. So next time when I come back, I'm gonna stamp out these two for sure. Possibly all five. Am I in the shot? Let's see. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to stamp them on the um, light blue pearl clay. Um, I've done this before with like an outdoor scene. It was like a mountain scene. And the, I colored the mountain with like brown mica powders and I did the ground with green and it worked out fine. So, um, so I'm going to stamp it, stamp all these in the, these two for sure. These might go on the gold clay. I haven't decided yet. Wow. Like I said, I decide as I go. But these two for sure um, will go on the blue clay. And then I'll color in the trees and the grass and his clothing um, with the mica powder. So next time, that will be the next video that I do. All right. So that's it for now. And we'll see you guys next time for part three. And thank you so much for watching.